Hello you lovely lot, how are we? I hope you're doing well. I wanted to come on and share with you guys some bits that I've gotten from Vinted. I won't lie, I'm looking at stuff for autumn. Don't hate me, don't hate me, but it's the time. Now is the time, yeah, early August is the time because people have forgotten that they've listed stuff, I don't know, but either way, I've gotten some absolute bargains and I'm gonna share with them with you. First things first, I did go a little bit crazy on the old um, puffer jacket situation. Um, I got three, but I probably max spent about £40 on three, whereas you'd probably spend about £40 on one in about a month's time. So, who's the real winner? I didn't mean to stick my fingers up at you. Shall I show you the puffer jackets? So the first jacket that I got was this one. Yeah, there's there's three puffer jackets and they're all in different colours and I'm absolutely obsessed. I don't know why I don't have any bright coloured puffer jackets in my wardrobe already. You'd think me, someone that absolutely loves any form of, you know, colour, I'm not a neutral queen. All of my coots are basically coots. All of my coots are neutral, bar like one or two. I have so many, just like black ones, brown ones, like beige, whatever the fuck. Like, I've got so many like neutral coats. I don't know why. Again, you'd think that someone like me loves bright colours, hello, you know, would, ha would have a lot of bright colours. No, I don't. Um, so I got this one. It's originally from New Look, is this one? Yeah, New Look. Got a size 16 and it's absolutely spectacular. I love it. I love this little bit at the front as well. It just fits really, really nicely and I'm really excited to wear it. Did I just say I'm really excited to wear a puffer jacket? At the beginning of August, I said what I said. I said what I said. I said what I said. I'm normally a summer girly, I won't lie to you, but the shambles that has been our summer this year uh, has really, really um, put me into sport mode for autumn. I would actually quite enjoy just a little bit coldness, perhaps. The blue skies can stay, absolutely. The clouds piss off. Um, but the nice, the nice blue blue skies can stay because that makes me feel happy. Um, but I won't lie, I'm quite in, I'm quite excited to wear some puffer jacket. Are you guys or are you just firmly still in your summer era? Are you kind of like, you're still you know holding up that bit of hope that would have maybe a week of summer? I think we've got it this weekend and then that's it. I won't lie to you. Either way, let me show you my two other puffer jackets that I got. So the other one I've got is from. Topshop originally and I got this one in a size 14. I haven't actually properly tried these on but this is what it is. Yeah, bright red. Absolutely sensational scenes. Sensational. Do you know what I've just realised? I think the reason that I am getting these bright coloured jackets is because I have quite dark hair now whereas like last year, year before and you know the rest of my life before I had brown hair. I feel like my hair was quite light therefore I had dark coats. Whereas now I have dark hair, so I don't want to be like black on black. I need to have like lighter colours. That's a really weird thing. That's a really weird thing that my brain has come up with is that if that is something that my brain has come up with and now suddenly I've got bright coats. Interesting, but I absolutely love this. It's quite funny because when I bought it, I think this girl actually followed me and it's so funny that I'm like, Hey, uh, can I have your puffer jacket? It was so funny. She messaged me like, I follow you on TikTok. I love your TikToks. And I was just like, oh! Funny you should say that. It's funny you should say that. Can I have a puffer jacket, please? <laughs> it was literally like £10. All of these were like £10. And I loved this bit of sleeve. This little bit of fabric is stunning with a puffer jacket. I'm just gonna say that. I enjoy this part of a puffer jacket. The other one doesn't have that, but I really enjoyed that. I like being held by the puffer jacket. It feels like I'm getting a bit of a, I don't know, I enjoy the cut. Stunning and gorgeous. Again, Topshop, size 14. I feel like it's a little bit discolored, but I've given it a wash. And you know what? It's a sleigh. And again, I got it for like eight pounds, so. Exactly. And then lastly, but most certainly not leastly, I got this one. Now I feel like this is going to be a either you love it or you hate it. And I love it. I do love it. Obviously I love it. Uh, it was £20 as opposed to the other two were literally like a tenner if not a little bit less. This was 20 I think it was originally like 28 No, I think it was like 26 And I put it as 22 
because then I'd pay £25 um, with the delivery. Listen, if you guys are going to come at me, not necessarily you guys, but if people are going to come at me with offers, then I'm going to also do the same to other people. I'm not going to, if I can get a coat that was like £26 down to like 22 or 23 I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And you guys can do it too. You, you guys, you do it to me, you do it to everybody else on Vinted. So why can't I? That's what I say. And do you know what made me die? This. So it's originally from Urban Outfitters, but it's from a brand called Garmin Material. <laughs> and it made me laugh because I was like, well, yeah, I am. And I have been for about eight, nearly nine years. So this was meant to be, got it in a size 14. And yes, it is absolutely ginormous. Wait, I'm going to show you. Don't worry about the try on for this ab. Look, is it not the most coziest thing you've ever seen in your entire life? Do I look like I'm potentially in a sleeping bag? You know what? It's a sleigh though. This looks like I'm like a Disney villain. That's quite a sleigh though, won't lie. It's just gonna be so cozy and cute and going on a little silly walk or, you know, just cutting about being silly. I just thought it was really cool. I enjoy purple as well. Like purple's one of my favorite colors. So I saw it and I was like a magpie. Um, with that, I'm actually trying this on in this climate. So those are the puffer jackets. Absolutely obsessed with them. And then we shall go into the trouser section. And I've also got a pair of trainers, two pairs of trainers actually, that I'm gonna share with you guys. Maybe I'll do those first actually. So something else that I noticed in my wardrobe was the lack of color in my wardrobe, in my shoe wardrobe to be precise. For trainers, I only wear my white, they're not white, they're more like gray, gray and navy New Balance, or I have one pair of like Adidas Gazelles that are like a lilac color, which I bought off of Vinted. And then I also bought, I've got like another like classic Air Force, I think, trainer. Again, I'm a girly of color. So of course you would expect me to have colorful trainers. Or, you know, like the trainers that aren't just grey and navy New Balance. You'd expect me to, but I won't lie, I'm a stingy bitch. And I don't want to pay full price for things like this. And yeah, I didn't. I think these were £20, again. Converse, pinked Converse. I absolutely upset. When I saw these in my side, I was beside myself. And look, like the, the bottoms are so, like they're really good. And the insides are a bit weird. Don't know why they're so dark, but I'm not gonna see them. My feet are gonna be them. And I'm gonna have socks on, obviously, because I'm not a weirdo. And I've washed them. I did feel a little bit weird to begin with about secondhand shoes, but I was like, you know what? They're pink Converse. I'm gonna get so much wear out of these. And I won't lie, this is my first pair of proper Converse. The other ones that I ever had were like dupes from Primark for like seven quid. Do you know the ones? I never really have ever had a proper pair of Converse because I was like, I'm not paying 50, 60 quid for a pair of Converse, fuck that. And now, like obviously I had the Primark ones so I knew the pain, but the pain of getting these on and being violently humbled because it takes you like two, three minutes to actually get these on it's quite ridiculous, um, but I'm tempted to get a green pair as well if I wear these like enough because I definitely want a green pair of shoes because then I've got like pink and green, obviously my favourite colours. Then I've got like a lilac pair. They're like the colours that I require in my trainer wardrobe. Um, yes, so I got those as I said for £20 and I'm absolutely buzzing. Like I wouldn't say they're perfect, but like they're as good as they're going to get for me. 20 quid. Fair enough. And then, another bargain. I got some Adidas, are these the Sambas? I don't wanna say they're Adidas Sambas and they're actually gazelles. Um, I think they're Sambas, cause they're, they've got this bit and I think that's the Samba. Do they look like bowling shoes? Possibly, you could you could tell me uh, they're bowling shoes and I would go, yeah, pro probably, probably. But you know what? I absolutely love them. Again, a pop of red. I can wear it with my red puffer jacket when it's get when it starts getting cold. I enjoy them a lot. I think they're really cool. Uh, there have been some people that are wearing like the black and white ones. I'm not gonna get a lot. I probably would get a lot of wear out of the black and white ones. But you know what? Again, stingy bitch. I don't want to play up of sixty quid, maybe more for an Adidas Samba. Thirty pounds for an Adidas Samba. Absolutely. I don't even know if it's thirty pounds. I think maybe they were like. I think they were 40 and I might have gotten her down to 35. Bargain girl, bargain girl. Sorry, I'm a cheapskate. I am a cheapskate. These are my final words. I'm a cheapskate. 
That's absolutely fine. You can say it in the comments. Ab your cheapskate. Absolutely. Slay. Absolute slay. And again, the bottoms, they're not like brand new, but they're basically, they're, yeah, I'm sorry, actually, they are basically like brand new. I'm obsessed. I love them. They're so cool. And I can't wait to wear the heck out of them when, obviously, the sun's coming into autumn. But some things that I can wear now are some skirts. So I've also got, I've got three skirts to show you and a pair of jeans. I think I'll show you the jeans first. It's because, like, I feel like sometimes you can be a little bit sceptical with jeans on Vinted. I won't lie, these are the first pair of jeans that I have found and bought on Vinted and like given them the proper go ahead. I've wanted a pair of checkboard jeans for the longest time but I've never seen any pair, seen a pair that I like the look of and that looked like they'd actually fit me. Again, like I said, I've never bought a pair of jeans before on on Vinted because I've always been a bit sceptical that you can't return them and jeans are such a hard, hard, hard piece to buy and for it to go well. Um, these, these are actually Exhibit A. They fit absolutely perfectly. They're quite high waisted, which is fine because I'm going to be wearing like sweatshirts with them. So you're not going to see how high up they are. I'm normally a tucker in when it comes to t-shirts. So obviously when that part comes, I'll just tuck it out. It's fine. I'll just have to humble myself and go, I'll just take it out. But I'll wear sweatshirts and you don't, you don't tuck in your sweatshirts, so it'll be fine. And I actually quite like a high waist, not necessarily that high of a waist, but I enjoy a high waist nonetheless. These are just quite long, they're quite long indeed on the old, uh, on the old legs. So I am going to have to give them a cut, I'm going to have to give them a cut, um, which is fine. I don't mind do, doing a DIY, I've done that many a times with my jeans because I'm five foot four. You know, it's it's gonna happen. I had a pair in 2021 from Shopsider and they were like a size XL, which I believe is like a 14. Basically, long story short, I gained weight, couldn't fit into them anymore, sold them. So I didn't have them anymore. They still wouldn't fit anyway, because I'm more of a 16 bottom now anyway. Um, but yeah, now I have a pair and they're fantastic. They were originally Boohoo and I feel like I actually probably paid less. They probably were brand new at 15 pounds, but I paid 15 pounds for them. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. By the way, on to the skirts. Now, I'm quite excited about these. I feel like they give proper, like, September preppy girl, preppy girl, preppy girl skirts. Look at this. Isn't it the cutest little thing you've ever seen in your entire life? It's lilac. Obviously, I love lilac. It's that, like, checked sort of material, material style. And I'm absolutely obsessed. I absolutely love it. Um, it's from, which I could tell you, it's from Amaranto. That's the brand. And it's a size for, oh, Says size 16, but she listed it as a 14 online and it's quite fitted. Um, but I absolutely love this. I think with just like a basic white tee, some loafers. Because as soon as it comes into September, we're wearing our loafers, girlies. Or even like my lilac Adidas. Oh, my new balance. I wear to shit. Definitely some loafers because you've obviously got like the black there. I'm obsessed with it. I like literally paid like four or five pounds for it. I was beside myself. I was so excited. And then another one that I have for you. This. Now I won't lie, it's quite short. It's quite short. Trigger warning. Short skirt incoming. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it on because you know when you're just like, is that even... I don't even think it's going to fit. I won't lie to you. It's a size 14, again from Boohoo. And I won't lie, I bought it and then I tried to cancel it because I realised that I didn't need a gingham red mini skirt. But it came. She shipped it before she cancelled it. I was like, you bastard. But you know what? I think I could probably wear a little bit of this. If it's not too short, I could wear a little bit of this whilst the um, weather's still nice. With my Sambas. <gasps> sleigh. Yeah, that would be a sleigh. And then, last skirt. <gasps> is this the last item? This is the last item I have to share with you guys. Is this. It's from Topshop. Again, Preppy Girl Vibes. Preppy Girl, preppy girl Vibes. Um, it's size 16 from Topshop. And I'm absolutely obsessed. I love the colour. It's such a sick colour. I love the yellow and the pink together with the black, obviously, so you can wear a little bit, maybe a little loafer if you'd enjoy to do so. I just thought, sweet, cute, clueless vibes and not absolutely tiny. Like, I think this will actually fit me and it will be a nice length, unlike the other one. Again, like £5, I believe. I'm making these prices up. I don't even think that was correct. Obsessed. Love her. Love her a lot. Again, white tea, maybe a black tea with some black loafers. 
done. When you've still got a little bit of warmth outside. Yeah, I just thought that was a sleigh. And that's everything. That's literally everything that I've gotten from Vinted over the past month. I just wanted to do like a little roundup because I absolutely love a little Vinted sesh. And you guys as well enjoy when I, um, I've done before like a come shop with me on Vinted. And I won't lie, I thought about it after I had bought all of these things at like 11 p.m. <laughs> so like and also it's kind of been like oh I'll buy this this time this this time and like when I've given people offers they normally take like a day or two to respond so like it's not really something that I could have done with you guys if you know what I mean I hope you guys did enjoy let me know if there's any sort of like autumn content that you'd enjoy to see from me over the next couple of months someone did actually suggest that I go into this Sainsbury's you know they've got like TU and then obviously George at Asda um maybe like FNF for Tesco's trying their like denim and things like that I definitely think that's something I want to do like the supermarket um particularly the, the denim as well I don't think they have a um I don't think they have a trying on section anymore they used to but I think since Covid they obviously shut them and then afterwards they just haven't opened them again and a lot of them have just gotten rid of the changing rooms now which is so annoying because like I'd like to just go and try it on and then leave but I think that means that I'd have to buy a bunch of it to then come back try it on to then take it back if I didn't like it it'll be fun I can order online some of them I can order online I'll do it online I'll do it online either way I hope you guys did enjoy my waffling on enjoy yourselves i'll let you guys get on with your days and let me know like give me like a little dm or something and show me what you guys have gotten recently from vintage if you've been you know acquiring any sick pieces for your autumn wardrobe or are you literally like ab get fucked it's it's not autumn yet some people are still looking though i've started looking obviously so i'm 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 that way inclined but some people are literally like don't talk to me until the first of september about autumn other people literally the weather's been crap so they've been like fuck it get the tree up that's too that's that's too much for me uh, personally but you never know let me know down below and other than that i'll let you guys get on with your days again see you later and bye <laughs>